All right, we're talking to uh, Steve Litt that's here at our Orlando Install Fest. Steve Litt is the, um, is the creator of uh, GoLug. We have some videos of him from last month, but this month we're, he's, he came to visit us here at uh, Orlando Install Fest, and he's uh, doing a little project. So what kind of uh, video or radio project are you doing today, see? I've got a regenerative radio, and I'm trying various antennas on it, and none of them have been what I call real satisfactory. I had a wire going in the air up to there that, you know, got a couple stations. Now I'm trying an on-the-ground loop, which supposedly gets sky waves. Oh. However, the problem with this is that at this time of day, sky waves are hard to come by. What's a sky wave? It's where the uh, radio comes down like this instead of straight across. Oh, okay. And you're not, it, it, only hap it only occurs at a certain time of the day? Night. Oh, okay. So you can see what, I, what I've got here is a loop. Right. And it's a pretty big on-the-ground loop. Right. And I hope it'll work. Right, and here's the wire here. And what's this called? Your generator? The uh, regenerative shortwave radio. Oh, okay. I'm at C81K. All right. 8100 k Oh, wait a minute. We got two of them here. Which one is it? Is it it's not one that's... audio amplifier. This is the amplifier, what I'm pointing to now, right? Huh? This is the amplifier I'm pointing to? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and this is the generator. That was, no, generator that's the radio. Radio. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And if you look at the other side, you'll see the, the, the spinning knobs that look like amplifier audio amps and, and radio. Oh, okay. Okay, volume control, balance, treble, bass. Cool. Okay. Go back here a little bit. Tell you what, I seem to have a lot of lower noise floor. Can you show us the front of that? Cool. And so, this knob right here, the big one in the middle, what's that one? Tuning for your frequency. Okay. This one's regeneration, this one's volume. Alright. What's this one here at the end? Whoop. My <laughs> antenna popped out. That's a uh, band switch. Oh, okay. Let's turn down the volume. So, so far it appears that this thing's completely deaf to the uh, on the floor loop. Okay. Maybe you should stick it out the window. Jack's idea was not clearly here right here. Well, yeah, we don't even get a whistle on this thing. Going right outside? Not yet. Not yet. So what was it 
the antenna was supposed to be catching a sun ray or a sun radio waves that bounce off okay. one of the layers of the ionosphere. Okay. Which of course is the wrong time of day for that. I see. Actually, the ground wave loop, uh, loop is likely to be UM this. I can't remember what that stands for. Near vertical incident. Essentially, it means that your radio waves would be going up in the atmosphere and bouncing straight down. So if you imagine going straight up and straight down, you get a cone that's maybe uh, 300 to 400 miles in diameter. Okay. So you'd only get signals from within that diameter. Oh. Which might not be terribly exciting. <laughs> I would try. Uh, I would try putting a loop up about 15, 15 to 20 feet. I'm going to try a vertical loop next. That might work. Too. We could throw it up and see if we get a caught in the end. That would make a pretty good height. I was just thinking so much. Turn the funnel first, but it's not the same. No, that's not as exciting. <laughs> Okay, well, it's it's stone deaf. Now, before I abandon this completely, I'm going to put my cool little inductor on it. Hmm. And what's an inductor? Oh, you know, I don't know enough about this to tell you, except that this thing is not a transformer. Okay. It's two coils wrapped around the same piece of iron. Uh huh. And. Oh, it's like a transformer, that. Uh, it, and it, it an inductor though. is like half of a transformer. Okay. It's okay. not a transformer. This is two inductors that supposedly are arranged to kill any common mode interference. So. In technical terms, what we're doing is we're making a high impedance choke. So, impedance is sort of like resistance, but it's for, for, for radio waves. Okay. So, um, a high, high impedance, in other words, high resistance, it prevents the radio waves from going through. Okay. But what, it doesn't make sense to put a choke on an antenna if you don't want the radio waves to go through because you won't go to anything. Okay. So what we're, that's not what we're doing. What we're doing is we're taking two wires on the antenna. Uh-huh. And if the radio wave going through those two wires is going through both wires in opposite directions, then it'll go through the choke. Okay. Because you're getting, the wires are coupling to each other and not to the choke. But if it's going through both wires in the same direction, then it couples to the choke. That's called common mode current because they're going in the common direction. Oh. And the choke will prevent that from going through. Okay. And the, pro the point of doing this is because we're getting, uh, uh, we're getting noise from some of the devices that are floating around us, like the power supplies and the, uh. and the monitor next door. And those are going into both wires uh -huh. and then going into the radio, and the choke is preventing that. Okay. So what the idea is we don't want stuff that's going through both wires. We want stuff that's going through the whole antenna, and when it goes through the whole antenna, they're going to be going in opposite directions when they get to the radio, oh. and then they go through. Okay. And by the way, your wires should probably be twisted inside the choke, but that may or may not matter a lot. That's not how I saw it on the model I used. The twisted around I, I, I'm not saying it has to be twisted. I'm saying it might help. Supposedly. Wait. Are you, did you wrap both wires around the choke? Yes. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter then. It doesn't matter at all. I think. <laughs> well, that's all right. That's why they call it an experiment, right? I think we should make a choker antenna. That's the one where you put it about choke level high. <laughs> Well, thanks, fellas. I appreciate the information. That's it. It's stone deaf on the on the ground loop. All right. This has been another install fest video. Thank you very much.